Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Three of Cups and the Lovers, the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, energies for your person, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords and the Page of Wands. Between you and your person we have the Tower, meeting energies, the Emperor and the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, the Oracle cards, TikTok and the Truth Be Told. Guys, this can be a player or a cheater as well. Someone that you have been seeing lately, you thought that this person was invested in the connection with you, but instead you have found out or you can find out that there is someone else in the picture and so this is a third party situation three of cups the lovers is interesting because it can be a soul to soul connection soulmate energy yes this is a crossroads in this case you will have a choice to make about this person and about the connection that you shared with them for a while truth be told they are not deserving of your trust Seven of Swords, Lies, Betrayals, Deceits, Kinda Pick Your Poison. I feel that this person can be the Emperor, so someone that thinks they know better, someone that can try to manifest some power moves over other people, and this is a dishonest individual, guys. Someone that doesn't know how to respect other people, and maybe some of you thought that there was a real chance for this connection because maybe you set your eyes on the Knight of Pentacles energy as the chance to take some steps in order to build for the future and all of a sudden there was an unpleasant realization tower about this individual and the Nine of Swords kicked in as a source of anxiety. This person can be someone that doesn't really know or maybe doesn't want to make a choice if we think about a potential romantic partner and they can mistake pleasure for love and vice versa. I find interesting that we got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles in the mix. So there can be a lot of people around this person and they love to play that game, Page of Wands. The Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles can describe the fact that some of you can fulfill a due diligence, Page of Pentacles, and at some point you can evaluate that the effort that this person has been granting in favor of the connection with you is not enough. You do not like it enough and you can say that you are sorry but you are not interested anymore in a connection with them this is just a matter of time guys TikTok. this is like a ticking time bomb because of the tower but truth can set you free and the hanged man is another crucial energy because it can be an uncomfortable position yes and this person put you guys but also someone else in an uncomfortable position and because of that you can change your mind about them it's pointless for you to be reasonable and agreeable with someone that is not deserving of your trust this is a dishonest individual they can try to come up with lovely words in order to say that you are the one that they want but for them it's like a script they can say the same words also to other people. And this is the unfair game that this person has been playing, not only with you, but also with someone else. So the two of swords for you can be another energy about a crossroads. And because of the moon in the background, we can think about shenanigans, secrets, lies, an illusion, and you have to make a choice about a connection that at the end of the day doesn't have foundations strong enough to stand the test of time without trust we cannot build anything and some of you have had or may have to find that out the hard way what should you focus on in a situation like this one
We have the six of wands. This can be the opportunity for you to move on. Two of cups, chance to grow together with a special person. We cannot do that if there is the seven of swords and this person brings it to the table. I will not argue with the fact that some of you have had love for this person, but unfortunately they were playing a completely different game. So either a cheater, according to the commitment that was involved in the connection with you or a player, someone that was seeing other people in the same time or at the same time. Queen of Swords, this can be for you 100%. You can call them out. By the way, we got all the four queens. So I feel that this is a matter of self-respect for some of you. This person didn't show any respect towards you. Now you have to respect and love yourself enough to call off this unfair connection. Higher of energy. This can be an energy about commitment. Mm, I feel that this can be a goal for you if we follow the Knight of Pentacles. If you were in a committed relationship with this person, it's over, guys. The tower. The tower is going to sweep away the relationship because this person betrayed you. And for others of you guys, another scenario, uh, maybe you got the chance to meet this person, you thought they were single, they told you that, but then you found out that they were in another relationship. And so they made you guys the third person, basically. In any case, an unpleasant individual, this one. What's the obstacle? If the seven of swords in a scenario like this one is not enough. Eight of pentacles and the ten of swords. It is not over yet, but we are going there, guys, because of the tower. This person doesn't want the connection with you to end. And they can even say that they are willing to work for it. They cannot be trusted. What are they talking about? This can even be a work-related connection for some of you that can be over just like that as soon as you find out or you have found out that this person was playing with you and messing around at the same time. So why should you want to work for a connection with someone that can be dishonest and also someone that doesn't know what loyalty is. There is a mask that drops off because of the truth be told oracle card. So all the BS of this person can get exposed just like that out of the blue. And maybe they do not see that coming, but this is what they can get. And I will not argue with the fact that this can be a major disappointment for you, but if you ask me, it is better to find out a situation like this one sooner rather than later. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Let's see what we can get. We have the Five of Pentacles. We called for the energy, speaking about the shaky foundations of the tower. You cannot find your victory in this connection, guys. You can find it if you move on, if you leave this person behind. They made you feel left out in the cold, especially if you are the third person in the third party situation. Maybe misunderstandings along this interaction. Uh, this person can be a liar. They can be. They lie easily to other people. They are good at it. They are a good liar. But at some point, lies can be exposed. And there is a price to pay for that, which can be the fall of the tower. King of Swords, much for the Queen. I feel that this is a smart person because they got away with their actions for quite some time. 
they can try to explain to you why you should trust them, believe their explanations and give them another chance. It is pointless because the truth of the queen, which can be your truth in this case, truth be told, can be one extremely different from what another person may desire to hear. And this person will not like the fact that you can end the connection because you do not like the arrangement. Kinda in the scenarios that we have briefly described. Eight of swords, this is meaningful in the guidance. This is a stuck situation. This is a stalemate. This person can keep you guys stuck. And this is also an overwhelming energy of the mind that can follow the Nine of Swords. You have to release the energies, guys. Because it's like you can struggle to believe what's happening because you thought there was a real chance for this connection, when in reality it was all an illusion because this person wanted to manifest an illusion. So the sooner you put a closing point on the connection, the better it can be for you. This person will try their best to convince you guys to stay in this game. Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love, I want to talk. Let me explain. There is no reason to explain anything. This person is not deserving of your trust. They can have a big ego. They can think they are irresistible. Maybe they were for a while. Now, not anymore. Ace of Cups, this is a gift from the heart, guys. I believe that some of you thought you were in love with them, but they are not deserving of this gift. Truth be told, they are not deserving of this gift and you may have to take your love away and in order to do so, you have to leave this person behind. You have to go through the Ten of Swords. It can be time, tick-tock. But the sooner you go through the Ten of Swords, the sooner you will find different opportunities and a well-deserved satisfaction, the Six of Wands. So the sooner you will find a fair companion that can manifest with you, not only the Two of Cups, but also the Hierophant, something that this person doesn't know how to do. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.